blocks from Bourbon Street. The Clippers take it on the Pelicans. For Los Angeles, on the outside looking in, ninth place in the West, but there's time to move up. Pelicans, Clippers, tip off in just a moment. Hi, and thanks for joining us on 2K Sports NBA Action. It's coming up. I'm Brian Anderson, alongside Grant Hill, Steve Smith, and Allie LaForce. Allie, it's all yours. Hey, Brian, it's not often one team loses a superstar big man and immediately welcomes another. But that's been the case with the Pelicans and Zion Williamson. Last season, he tied the record for most consecutive 20-point games, shooting over 50% from the field. 25 straight alongside Shaquille O'Neal. Brian, impressive. Outstanding. Thanks, Allie. Let's take a look at the Western Conference standings now that the new year is upon us. Taking a look at the Pelicans at the midway point of the season, they're in fourth place in their respective conference. And, of course, the Clippers now four games behind. You know, for New Orleans... They've really made a lot of progress this year. I mean, sitting close to the top of the standings, it's a great spot to be in. Well, it's not surprising to them. Since day one of this season, these players and coaches have said they view themselves as one of the league's top teams. And it looks like they're right there. Now the opening lineup for the Los Angeles Clippers. George and Kawhi, the star-studded forward pairing. Norman Powell out there with Luke Kennard. And it's Hartenstein in at the five. And for New Orleans... We've got Jonas Valanciunas, Zion Williamson out there with Jackson Hayes. Then there's C.J. McCollum, and it's Ingram in at the two spot. So the Pelicans win the tip, and we know it's never easy to play on the road, Grant. Just how tough are lengthy road trips? Well, I'll tell you, after game three or four or five on the road, you definitely feel it. I mean, towards the end of a road trip, it's a struggle to play near 100%. Now here's Powell. Pass to George. Now Kennard. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. Always working to find open territory. Kennard's lethal in catch and shoot. Ingram finds McCullum. And he drains the quick shot. He's a go-to guy for them because he's that consistent. Time and time again, he delivers. McCullum against Kennard. Leonard outside. Inside, here's Powell. He can't get it to go. Oh, good work defensively by Ingram. The Clippers grab the miss. They're coming off that loss against Denver. In today's NBA, you have to stretch the floor or you're going to struggle big time. The reason why, that opens up driving lanes, makes it dangerous for teams to W in the post. The offense becomes more dynamic. Now here's Williamson. Coming off a 16-point game against Minnesota. That one falls. This is where Zion is most comfortable using his size and touch to his advantage. George against Williamson. Shot from 12. Nice shot by George. And obviously their goal right now is to feed him the ball and get him going. Because he's someone that you lean on at the offensive end. Establish him early. Now here's McCullum. 14 points for him last game against Minnesota. Right side Ingram. Six to shoot. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. You know, we've seen guys get traded, become the guy for a team, and excel. One example is Brandon Ingram going to New Orleans as the piece in the Anthony Davis deal in the summer of 2019. That free throw, good from Ingram. During his first year in the Big Easy, Ingram thrived as the focus of the Pelicans' offense, named to his first All-Star game. And at just 22 years old, B.A., it wasn't just Ingram averaging over 23 points per game. It was his 39% shooting from deep 
also throwing in about six rebounds and four assists per game. Brandon made a statement in his first year in New Orleans that he can be a franchise player in this league. It's been fun watching Brandon Ingram's scoring stats climb. He's a guy who can really fill it up, whether he's inside or outside of the arc. Pass to Leonard. George outside. Over Williamson. George, no good. You know, Grant, what's really impressive about Ingram's scoring is what he can do on those nights when he just goes off. <laughs> yeah, we've seen some explosive stuff from him on the offensive end from time to time. Now, when he's dialed in, he can absolutely torture you. You just wish he could perform at that level every night. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Wow, that's a defensive breakdown. Can't do that against good scores. Hartenstein, yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. That's a well-timed, well-coordinated play. Comes right off the pick for the lay-in. And in the first quarter, about three minutes played. Here's McCollum. Here's Hayes. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Have to take care of the defensive boards better than that. Reason why, lack of focus, lack of communication, which led to second chance points. Now here's Kennard. 11 points for him last game against Denver. Leonard against McCollum. Count it. One for one to start the game. So many tools in the bag for Kawhi. Foul line down. He's very hard to stop. New Orleans in the lead. Outside Ingram. Pass to Hayes. Good work defensively by Leonard. Mm, I'm not sure what happened on that play. May have relaxed a little bit once he got to the rim. George with it. It's stolen by Ingram. Shoots over George. The shot by Ingram, no good. High percentage look for him. But bottom line, they're not all going to go down. Leonard against Ingram. Tipped. And he recovers it. And the dunk by Leonard. For New Orleans, they've gone four of nine in this one so far. McCollum with it. And Kennard picks him up defensively. And again, no good by New Orleans. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. Hey, if you can't block it, sending him to the line can be the next best thing. First one falls. Norman Powell is a veteran in this league. He plays to his strengths and rarely tries to force things. from the line this time. We've seen him put a lot of pressure on the defense and then cash in at the line. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Now here's Valanchunas. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Minnesota. His shot blocking dominated the game. His three blocks really had an effect on defense. McCollum against Kennard. George passes to Leonard. Back to George. Three-pointer. Yes. And it's Leonard with the assist that time. George has got five now. Getting out to a nice lead. Great flow and great execution. The Pelicans trail. Here's McCullum. You know, his stats have been solid. Averaging around 18 and a half points a game. Williamson passes to Hayes. 
Now here's McCollum. Over Kennard. Shots good by McCollum. McCollum's got his second basket on the night. And oftentimes, you just assume McCollum's J is going in. He's this good of a shooter. It's incredible. To the inside. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Valanchunas. Oh, and a fast break for the Pelicans. George with the block. Pass to Leonard. Powell with it. Covered by Ingram. And the basket is good. It's no secret that Kawhi has focused on improving his passing. Great look there. And the Pelicans with possession here. They trail by six. They come into this one following the loss to Minnesota. In this league, you have to stay active at both ends of the floor. I thought their lackluster defense was the difference in the game. You know, sometimes great skill can overcome a lack of intensity, but it's very rare. Now here's George. He had a 12-point outing in their last game against Denver. You can't forget about how great he was at forcing contact and getting to the line. He racked up a lot of easy points at the line that way. Here's Ingram. Pass to Valanchunas. Fires for three. And another three for New Orleans. Stretching the floor. The new concept for Valanchunas. In his first five years, he attempted just four triples total. Now here's Kennard. Averaging around six a game. Now Leonard. Let's it go from deep. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. And the Pelicans call time here. For the Clippers, Zubats. He's checked in for Hartenstein. Man comes in for Powell. And it's Jackson in for Kennard. Pass to Jones. Poke loose. Doubled by Jackson. Now here's George. Five points in the game. Leonard outside. Here's George. Six on the shot clock. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They didn't need any time to warm up from long range today. Their three-point shooting has been terrific in the first half. Also, their passing has been terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. The free throw drops from Zubats. Zubats drops them both. For New Orleans, they've got 7 of 15 to find the net. Pass to Williamson. He takes it in, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Williamson's got his third basket of the night. How do you stop Zion on the drive? He's so agile for a player his size. Here's Mann, covered by Ingram. And here's George. To the paint. Here's Zubats. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. And the Clippers lead by five. We know about George's ability as a scorer, but he's also unselfish and a skilled playmaker. New Orleans has gone two of four from distance to begin this one. Pass to Nance. 
Now here's Ingram. The floater. Offensive rebound. Williamson. Soft touch off the glass. Williamson's got eight. So far, rebounding has been a focal point for them. Los Angeles has gone three of three from outside and looking sharp here in the first. You know something Zion Williamson was at the forefront of was helping arena workers affected by the COVID pandemic. He set an unbelievable example with his generosity. Now here's Jackson. He's definitely not pleased how he played against Denver. Driving to the basket. The shot won't fall. Great D that time from Zubats. And you're referring to Zion's pledge to pay the salaries of so many workers furloughed during that trying time. NBA Zion's effort led to a lot of other NBA players following suit. It was great to see just how much NBA players care about their communities and the people behind the scenes. Ugh, slams it down with two hands. Man, they're really getting aggressive now. And it's New Orleans ball. It's a five-point game. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. Some changes for New Orleans. Snell comes in for Williamson. And Devontae Graham is subbed in for Brandon Ingram. George with it. He's got five. Pass to Zubats. Here's Mann. Puts up a three. And the Clippers hit again from deep. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. And here is Graham. He shoots. The shot misses. And Los Angeles the other way now. A minute 58 left to play in the first. To the middle. Here's Mann. And no good trying to use the glass. The Pelicans trail. Outside Graham. The alley and Nance with the slam. <laughs> you could just see how in sync they were there. That's what it takes to pull that off. Now here's Leonard. Not a lot of room. Man misses. We all know he's a good shooter, but from that distance, uh, I don't think so. You know, we're seeing players move further and further back to create space, but that does make it a tougher shot. 107 left in the first quarter. Pass to George. And again, it's the Clippers missing. New Orleans has gone three for five from deep so far in this matchup. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance at a three-point play. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. And a chance for a moment to check out the scoring breakdown for New Orleans. Their passing has been excellent here early. A lot of their baskets coming off an insist. That should set a great tone for the rest of the game. Their three-point shooting could be a factor tonight, too, if they maintain their current form. What I like about Tony is that he embraces his role, and his teammates enjoy playing with him. Jackson outside. Oh, the offensive struggles continue. Missing again. Pass to Jones. Jackson against Graham. The rebound by Jackson. Los Angeles has gone four of six from deep to start this game. Three second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Out to the right wing. Here's Zubats. 
And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Here's Snell. With one on the clock. He got it up in time, but it would not fall for him. Zion Williamson has been on display for New Orleans. Eight points in the quarter, showing how effective he can be. We'll be right back with you shortly. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even on the scoreboard so far. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? You know, they've been relentless in how they attack the paint. They came in looking to attack from the get-go, willing to be physical and setting the tone. Here's Jackson. Boy, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. They've got Tony Snell, Devontae Graham out there with Larry Nance. And it's Jones in at the four-man position. That's the Pelicans five. It's stolen by Nance. The three is up. The shot comes out. And Los Angeles the other way now. They'll take on the Spurs at AT&T Center after this one. That'll wrap up this short two-game road trip. They get the rebound. Zubats. He got a piece of it. It's a three-on-three -three fast break. From about 16. Jackson, right side. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. Outside Graham. Down low. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. Hey, they're just getting pushed around inside. All right, Smitty, you won some titles at the international level. A world championship in 94, gold in 2000. So how do those compare to the ring you won with the Spurs? You know, B.A., they're totally different. Obviously, both of them are fantastic. But internationally, it's a little bit special because you're playing for your country and you have that USA across your jersey. Here's Jackson looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to man. Now Covington. The jump hook. And that one's long. For New Orleans, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Now Jones. Outside Graham. The rebound by Mann. I know he's on a cold streak, but he can't let that get in his head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. Snell's shot is off. Los Angeles has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Boy, they'd love if anyone could get a bucket. Yeah, their offense has been grinding to a halt. Back to man. Fires from deep. Knocks down the triple. Man's got six. Woo! He got a clean look, and he makes the defense pay for disrespecting him. New Orleans has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. Pass to Jones. Zubats comes with a double team. Graham with it. Jackson in his pocket. Hits the front of the rim and out. Still searching for his first bucket. You wonder how far ahead they'd be if he was playing anywhere near his full potential. Here's Mann. Just five to shoot. For three, Covington. Pelicans cleared away. And there's the call on Reggie Jackson. That's foul number two for him. 
his second foul in as many quarters. We'll see if he backs off or stays aggressive. So both teams making some changes here. Pass to Graham. From downtown, gets the first one to go. Now one for seven on the night. Passes like this demonstrate Snail's team first approach. He's all about getting it to the open guys. And here's Jackson. Kennard outside. That basket is good. Off the assist from Jackson. Kennard's got his second bucket on the night. Exchanging buckets from downtown. That's been a staple of tonight's game. Hey, players love competition. And the fans love it as well. Stripped away. Jackson with it. McCullum covering. Covington. Ooh, can't tie it up as that one's no good. Get that weak stuff out of here. That's embarrassing. Graham against Jackson. Graham, the pass to Valanchunas. Basket's good. Valanchunas has got five points. Almost every move Valanchunas makes, there's going to be some contact. He just plays through it. Los Angeles has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. Pass to Jackson. Back to Kennard. And he can't get that one. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. Inside. Here's Valanciunas. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. To the inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. First one at the line is good. New Orleans making some changes. Hayes is checked in for Nance. Williamson comes in for Snell. And Brandon Ingram is subbed in for Graham. Paul George, he's checked in for the Clippers. Powell comes in for Jackson. And so he hits both. Here's McCollum. Now here's Ingram. Pass to Hayes. McCollum with it. And George with some nice D. Los Angeles has gone six of nine from three-point range. That ties the game. George has got seven points. Excellent concentration from Paul George. Overwhelming the aggressive defense with his strength and determination. And the Pelicans with possession here. Outside Ingram. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. George has got four rebounds now. Into the lane. That puts him in the lead. Oh, explosive crossover. How's that for a move? You have to feel a bit for Paul George. Had a rough go of things ever since he labeled himself playoff P. He knows he'll have a spotlight on him because of that moniker. Shots good by McCollum. Beautiful call that time up the floor. The hard screen frees him up for the bunny. Los Angeles has gone two of three from the three-point line in the second. And there's the foul. It's on Jackson Hayes. That's foul number two for him. And with George, he caught flack for that. But he used the noise as motivation, Smitty. And it pushed him to some of his best basketball yet. Paul George always shows up in the playoffs. But he'll need to win a title to lose the doubters once and for all. Let's it go from 11. 
It's Hayes with the rebound. New Orleans has gone one of three from three-point land here in the second quarter. And Williamson throws it down. Delivering as much punishment as he receives. Zion is a scary sight coming at you. And the call will be against Brandon Ingram. That's his first foul. Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Kennard outside. Here's Hardenstein. And that one's good with extra effort on the glass. Hardenstein's gotten four this quarter. Credit their discipline. They've been working for high percentage shots. McCullum with it. Picked up by Powell. McCullum, a pass to Hayes. Pass to Williamson. Here's Ingram. Shot clock at six. Blocked! And it's the Clippers on the break. George passes to Leonard. It's good. Set up beautifully by George. George has got three assists tonight. Well, Paul knows the defense is locked in on him, so he takes advantage and finds the open man. Now here's Hayes. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Valanchunas finds Ingram. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock from deep three-point range. Hayes misses. The Clippers in the lead. The drive by Powell. It's good. Powell's got six points. Look at the intensity on that drive. Norman Powell charging in like no one can stop him. New Orleans has gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. McCullum outside. Pass to Hayes. Banked it in off the glass. Hayes has gotten his second bucket of the game. Too easy for a guy of his caliber. The D must put up more of a fight down there. And you have other methods as well. You could deny or you can just front the post. Now here's Leonard. He's coming off a 19-point game against Denver. And he gave them headaches with his defense. Constant activity at that end with four steals to show for it. Hartenstein, no good. New Orleans has gone just one of four from downtown so far in the second. Outside Ingram. Five on the clock. Pass to Williamson. Now Valanchunas. Pal covers. Valanchunas can't get it to go. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. George with it. Hayes picks him up. Now here's Leonard. Williams grabs the board. The Pelicans trail. For three, McCullum. Here's Hayes. And the bucket counts. And he is on his way to the line. He'll try to make it a three-point play. as the free throw drops in for him. Here's George. He's got seven. Leonard with the ball. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Leonard has a great feel for when the defender is just a little out of position.
Then he drops the first. And you look at how Kawhi goes about his business. No social media, no big presence, just does his thing and let his game do the talking. The Pelicans making a switch here. Jones is checked in. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. And Leonard drops them both. And that reserved approach from Kawhi. Don't confuse it for a lack of personality. Smitty, he's a funny guy, but by his own words, huh? He is, B.A. Stand out of the spotlight. That's just what he likes to do. He might have missed out on some marketing potential, but keeping out of social media is a very wise choice. Ingram. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And it's Kennard on the take. The putback. Controls the rebound and the putback. And the Clippers lead by three. Playing at his tempo, his pace, he's been dialed in all night. Kennard against McCullum. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. <laughs> and McCullum isn't afraid of contact, especially when he's being aggressive and looking to score. First free throw is good. Off on that one, so he goes one out of two at the line. Here's Williamson, and give him another one. He's six of eight and looking solid. Whether it be rebounding, driving the ball, in transition, Zion always looking to attack. Pass to George. Leonard outside. Goes back up. Here's Zubats. And he banks in the layup. Zubats has got six. <laughs> Their intensity has only picked up this quarter, even while holding the lead. McCullum outside. Takes one from 10 feet. Kennard with the rebound. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Nice move. And George with the layup. And it's a four-point Los Angeles lead. With his great length and skill, Paul George has no trouble getting points in the paint. That one drops for him. Coach is loving the ball movement. Los Angeles has gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. It's Powell on the wing. Pass to Zubats. Here's Kennard. He's got it. Three for seven now. I mean, they've been relentless. Just keep getting shots at the rim. New Orleans has gone only one of five from beyond the three-point line in the second quarter. Back to McCullum. To the middle. And here's Hayes. Fires the jumper from the corner and nails it. He's got nine. That's a nice read. The value of keeping your eyes up. Los Angeles has gone two of five from deep here in the second. George outside. Leonard passes to Zubat. Rebounded by New Orleans. Hayes has got his fifth rebound in this one. You'd like to let the clock run and take the final shot. Yes, you do, but it's a dilemma. If you get a great look earlier in the clock, do you take it? And the Clippers have possession. And here's Leonard. 13 points in the game. Pass to Powell. The three ball. And they'll get another chance. Jones with the block. And they get it back. It's a tie game in New Orleans. Don't go away. We'll be back momentarily. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, basketball fans. What a pleasure it is to bring you into the 2K studios again. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. 
Zion Williamson was on fire in the first half. He had 14 points, four rebounds, and one block. And uh, Kenny, what did you see out there from the Pelicans? You have to recognize their bench play. Sometimes we overlook the second unit. But tonight, they've been the key. The coaching staff has got to be loving this, getting that extra boost. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Well, I thought the one bright spot was the effort on the glass. Several times when momentum was sliding, getting a time to rebound was really lifted. Strong work on the glass is key because that's how you stream together a series of big stops. That's all for now. Say goodbye to the folks. Thanks goodbye, for folks. joining us. Third quarter, just about ready to begin. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been a fairly even one. It has been a clinic out there by Zion Williamson. And he was a beast on the offensive glass in that first half. How can they slow him down? Basketball 101. You've got to put a body on him. Unfortunately, that's a fundamental that's gone by the wayside. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. Checking out the group for Ty Lu to start the second half. George and Kawhi, the star-studded forward pairing. Luke Kennard out there with Norman Powell. And it's Hartenstein in at the five. Here's Kennard. It's good. And the assist that time from Leonard. Leonard's got five assists in the game. The Pelicans trail. Williamson outside. Pass to Ingram. Here's McCullum. Pulls it in from the elbow. Nice spin off the left rim and in. McCollum's got nine. This is what you do when your opponents try to take away the three and the painted area. Leonard against Valanchunas. Tries again. Out to Powell. There's the three. He buries it from three. Powell's got his third basket on the night right there. Off the catch. Norman Powell is quick to move the ball into his shot pocket. The Pelicans shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Pass to Williamson. Oh, George with a steal. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Powell against Hayes. George passes to Leonard. Pelicans cleared away. Outside Ingram. Just over one and a half minutes have passed in the third quarter. The Clippers have gotten two of four shots to go since the break. Leonard. Ooh, another basket for him. He's 6 of 11 now. You can see the work Kawhi has put into his ball handling. Gets separation almost any time he wants. Here's Ingram. He's got five. Pass to Williamson. Back to Ingram. Fires the three. Offensive board. And the dunk by Valanchunas. Gotta love the big man Valanchunas fighting for that extra chance. And he was rewarded for his effort. Ingram against Powell. Now here's Kennard. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Zion Williamson. Williamson's got rebound number five here tonight. McCollum finds Ingram. Shoots over Powell. Here's Valanciunas. That shot off the mark. And Los Angeles the other way now. Here's Leonard. Ooh, and Leonard throws it down. Kawhi Leonard will never shy away from carrying the offensive load. He can step up and do that for his team. Boy, they need something to go to regain some confidence. No question. Way too many empty possessions for them. Here's McCollum. Kicks it out to Williamson. Three-pointer. And C.J. McCollum with the three. 
McCollum's got five points now this quarter. Nice to see Williams spot the open man. He has awareness and ability as a passer. Pass to McCollum. This for the tie. That one's good on the sweet setup by Ingram. Ingram's got his fourth assist with that last one. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. Leonard up top. He's defended by Hayes. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. down the first one. Some changes for New Orleans. Nance, he's checked in for Hayes. Snell comes in for Zion Williamson. And Graham subbed in for Ingram. off on the second. Unfortunate that he missed one, but he still hit a crucial point there to help get his team the lead. To the paint. Here's Valanciunas. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of eight in the third. Here's Mann. He's got six. For three, Covington sinks the tray. Covington's gotten himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Pass to Valanciunas. Fader on the way. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. Valanciunas has a look from the mid-range. He is very comfortable taking it. Time called here. Los Angeles decides to talk it over. Let's give Coach credit. He's trying to find a way to squeeze the most out of every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. For Los Angeles, they've gone five for nine from the floor in the third quarter. Jackson against McCullum. Here's Mann. Oh, and another three for the Clippers. This is the shot you want to get him. An open look from range. And so it's New Orleans with it. Now McCullum. 15 points in the game. Here's the floater. No good that time. And Los Angeles the other way now. And that one drops for him. In this period, they're feeding him, and he's feeling it. Los Angeles has got four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. Pass to man. To the inside, Hartenstein. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. Knocks down the long J. He's got five. They are unconscious from outside. And so far, the defense has had no answer. You know what? They talked about this at halftime. And they're doing a better job of creating space. Now here's Graham. Looking at his production. Close to 12 points a game. And out of bounds. Los Angeles will have it. Jones, he's checked in for Snell.
His shot was hindered by that momentous mobile one block. Yeah, just some terrific effort there. And you know the whole team will get an energy boost off a block like that one. That'll be a five-second call. On the wing, Jones. Five points in the game. It's tipped. Now here's Covington. Jackson outside. Back to Covington. Pelicans cleared away. Nance has got four rebounds now. Pass to McCullum. The kick out to Graham. Back to Valanchunas. Second chance effort. Good. And Graham with the setup. Graham's got his fourth assist with that last one. When you earn your keep inside, you get used to fighting through contact. Valanchunas getting it done. Here's Jackson. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for the Clippers. They've turned in a fantastic performance from three-point range. That's been a weapon for them all game. Their passing also continues to be outstanding here in the second half. falls for Jackson and with Reggie Jackson it's a testament to his natural talent that he often leaves us wanting a little bit more the Clippers making a switch here Zubats is checked in both shots good from the strike New Orleans has gone two of three from outside so far in the third quarter Pass to Jones. And the Pelicans get it back. Now in Tunis. Tries again. Tough sequence there. They just couldn't get it to go. Now Covington. Stolen by Valentunas. Down low. Here's Nance. And a great assist by Graham as that one goes. Nance has got six. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Here's Mann. Graham covering. There's Jackson with the three. He's been tremendous at corralling misses all night long. He has led this team in rebounding and also taken on the role of enforcer. Here's Mann. Nine points in the game. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. It's a backbreaker for your defense, giving up easy buckets like that. Graham with it. Pass to Valentunas. Clock at six. Throws it up high. And Nance with the slam. The great read between those two guys. The defense didn't stand a chance, B.A. These two teammates right here, Grant, they are connected. Here's Mann. 11 points in the game. Here's Jackson. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Jackson. Off on the timing, or it may have been a miscommunication. Either way, turnover. Powell, he's checked in for man. New Orleans has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. Defended by Jackson. Drives to the hoop. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair.
first free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both shots. For Los Angeles, they've gone 8 of 15 in the third quarter. Pass to Zubats. Count it. Zubats has got eight. The Pelicans trail. And here's Graham. Here's Valanciunas. That one doesn't drop. Great D that time from Zubats. Well, the Clippers shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. Good idea with the fadeaway, but the defense was just all over it. Zion Williamson is checked in for the Pelicans. New Orleans has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Outside Jones. And there's the drive. Uses the glass on the layup. He's got seven. If you give him any sort of space, he's going to attack. He's guarded by Nance. Pass to Powell. And stolen by Graham. This for the tie. Misses at the rim. The Clippers in the lead. Here's Jackson. Off target at the rim. New Orleans has gone 6 of 14 from the perimeter tonight. For the lead! And the Pelicans get it back. And his teammates appreciate the energy. Nice job to keep the possession going. Jones misses. Well, Los Angeles shooting well here in the third. Hitting 50% of their shots. And there's Jackson on the assist from Powell. Jackson's got four points now in the quarter. That is a powerful point guard right there. Reggie converting against very tight defense. Right now a close game in New Orleans. One fifty-six left to play in the third quarter of basketball. This is why Williamson's teammates love him. He makes them look good on these alley-oops. Jackson, the pass to Zubats. Here's Jackson. He's been a consistent contributor, averaging just over 11 a game. Just four to shoot. The Clippers got a hurry. Late clock here. Powell's shot is off. Pelicans shooting a disappointing 38%. Here's Jones. Can't tie it up as that one misses. He has gone ice cold this quarter. Obviously not helping their calls. one falls for him. Hayes is checked in for the Pelicans. Ingram comes in for Graham. The Clippers making a switch here. And it's tied up with that one. There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. George passes to Leonard. On the take. Count it. And the foul. Larry Nance picks one up. You see the power right there from Kawhi. Absorbs contact and able to convert right through it. And Kawhi Leonard dipping his toe into free agency. Now, he opted out mostly to sign a longer contract with the Clippers. And in just two years, he has shown his value for this franchise. So they felt the same, and both are now linked for the next four years.
Free throw drops for Leonard. An offensive juggernaut and aggressive defender. Kawhi is just the total package, in my opinion. Brings a winning mindset as well. Here's Ingram. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. Man, the defender really went after him. That free throw, good from Ingram. Brandon Ingram is a fascinating player, multi-dimensional and versatile. Needs to keep improving. Both free throws good from Ingram. Now George. He's got 11. Leonard on the wing. Powell for three. Nance pulls down the board. And they've been able to maintain this lead despite his inconsistency from the field. Here's Williamson. And that misses. That would have put him up. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. George with the bucket. Sturdy play from George in the paint. Getting by the contact and to his finish. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Williamson. Leonard pulls down the board. Leonard's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And it's Powell off the drive. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Now it's a five-point clipper lead. Keeping his balance on the difficult take. Norman Powell is gifted at finishing through physical contact. Inside. Here's Williamson. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. The third quarter comes to a close. The Clippers on top, leading by five. And when we return, we'll get the fourth quarter rolling here on 2K Sports. And now we have a moment to reveal our State Farm assist of the game. This is the definition of team chemistry. I love to see this kind of communication and connection between teammates leading to the perfect pass. Fundamental basketball. Keep your eyes up. Keep the ball moving. You're going to keep the defense on its heels. And it's been a very competitive game so far as we get rolling here in quarter number four. We've got Brandon Ingram. Hayes is out there with Zion Williamson. Then it's Larry Nance. And it's McCollum at the point guard position. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. And it's Kennard on the take. And the shot's good. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Looking to end this cold spell. And Ingram lays it up and in. Brandon Ingram possesses grace and power. He mixes them together for a big finish. Leonard against Hayes. Leonard left side. All sorts of time. And the Clippers again with a bucket. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. The Pelicans trail. Pass to Hayes. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Leonard. Here's Powell. Covered by Ingram. Powell passes to Kennard. Up and over McCollum. And Kawhi Leonard gets a whistle that time. 
That'll get him his fourth foul of the game. And the Clippers making a change here. Hartenstein's checked in. And New Orleans shooting 41% in this game. McCollum outside. Pulls it from the top of the key. And right on target. That was good. Man, an unpredictable defensive assignment in the half court. McCollum can score from pretty much anywhere. Pass to Powell. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Here's George. Nance pulls down the board. Nance has got six rebounds here tonight. Kennard against McCullum. And they get it back. That's been the difference tonight. They've been insanely disruptive on the glass. An open look for Ingram. It's good on the putback. I love how efficient Zion is. Dependable at picking smart shots to take. McCollum against Kennard. Pass to George. Sinks it again. That's his seventh made field goal in 11 tries. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Just under two and a half minutes gone by now in the final quarter. Now here's McCullum. No good. Ooh, nice D from George. Pass to Hartenstein. Kennard outside. 4-3. Pelicans cleared away. Hayes has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Williamson into the lane. And the shot goes down. Williamson's got 20. The explosiveness gets Zion through the contact. Defender didn't stand a chance. Pass to Hartenstein. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That's his first foul of the game. The Pelicans making a switch here. Valanchunas has checked in. And the Clippers have possession. Three-point lead. Powell outside. And too long on the shot. Oh, George with a steal. Can't hit from in close. For New Orleans, they've got four of eight shots to drop here in this final quarter. Williamson for three. And it's the Clippers with the rebound. Leonard's got a rebound number 12 here already in the game. To the middle. Another shot. He's got it. His ninth make out of 15 tries. This guy is a fighter. Kawhi Leonard using his length to do damage on the glass. McCullum outside. Williamson finds Valanchunas. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Valanchunas has got 10 points here in the second half. Pass to Hartenstein. Now here's Leonard. He's defended by Hayes. George outside from deep. Can't hit that one. And it's New Orleans taking it the other way. He's been of no help stretching the floor tonight. Just one three in the first half. Nothing in the second. Valanchunas, good. He usually shoots a high percentage in the paint. And on that play, Valanchunas got it done. Kennard against McCullum. And stolen by Williamson. Inside to take the lead. So they take the lead. McCullum's got 19 points. And a closer look here at the hustle stats for the Pelicans. They've been playing such pesky defense. It's been very impressive, especially all the turnovers they've caused. Their second chance points have been a story all night as well. That's just pure hustle. And another basket for New Orleans. He's a new man this half. 
playing with much better intensity and getting results. Here's Leonard. And the dunk by Leonard. Give him any kind of opening, and Kawhi Leonard will make you pay at the rack. New Orleans has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. Powell against Ingram. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And with Paul George Grant, you know what he delivers. Very consistent in what he'll bring to each game. I mean, the scoring is always going to be there. But his defense doesn't take a night off either. I mean, very nice and consistent production from him. And he makes a first. If they keep hitting free throws at this clip, it'll help them seal the deal. Both free throws good from Ingram. And here are the Clippers now. They trail by three. George against Williamson. George, no good. He had it rolling and then lost it for some reason. Let's see if he can get it back while it still matters. For New Orleans, they've gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. McCollum against Kennard. McCollum, a pass to Williamson. And here's Ingram outside. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got four assists in the game. And for the Clippers, they're shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Leonard on the wing. He's defended by Hayes. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. There aren't many players that have come into the NBA as a consensus number one pick like Zion Williamson did. Nobody was passing on this fellow. First free throw is good. In that 2019 draft, Zion was a prize that every team in the lottery was hoping to win, Grant. And that added a lot of excitement to that night. I mean, when you've got a once-in-a-generation talent like Zion, the lottery becomes a major event. And Leonard drops them both. New Orleans has gotten one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Here's McCollum. They get it back. The Clippers trail. George with it. Pass to Leonard. Down low. Hartenstein. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Beautiful executed play. Kawhi Leonard makes the right read. Willing and dealing. Pelicans shooting around 44%. Not bad. McCollum against Kennard. McCollum's shot is off. There is the value of great rim protection without fouling, forcing the miss. George left side to tie it up. Here's Powell. Kicks it to George. Over Williamson. Misses off the left iron. Something's off about him this quarter. And it also shows you how difficult this game is. He's just a little bit off, but it can result in missing everything. Valanciunas can't get it to go. Los Angeles has gone 0 for 2 from outside here in the fourth quarter. And the jam by George! Insane move by Paul George, a high flyer who can create in midair. Here's New Orleans now. Here's Ingram. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. It's going to go on Kawhi Leonard. The officials were right on top of that one.
The first free throw is good. Nance, he's checked in for Hayes. Both free throws good from Ingram. Man, you gotta love his mentality in the second half. Attack, 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 and get to the free throw line. It's Powell on the wing. It's Powell on the wing. Drills it from deep. That's been typical of their performance today. They're sharing the ball and creating good shots. Now a timeout called by New Orleans. Without question, Kawhi Leonard displaying his skills today. You know, he's been a one-man wrecking crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick double, or maybe even both to try to slow him down. And now a moment to present the New Balance player of the game, Luke Kennard. And I just love to see a player who plays with an aggressive mindset. I mean, he had the energy and the intensity all game. He didn't waste any time when he had his chances out there by attacking the rim. A moment to hear from Allie LaForce. Over the last break, I listened to the Pelicans coach address his team. He told them he likes what he's seeing inside. Saying, quote, stay on the attack. Getting to the rim is working for us right now. Attack until they stop us. Guys? Good job there, Allie. Thanks. Now here's McCollum. Pass to Ingram. Williamson with it. George defending. Outside Ingram. And there's the foul. It'll go on Norman Powell. That's foul number two for him. And yeah, he, he still was moving at the point of contact. Kennard against McCullum. Up and over Kennard. I like when Kennard hustles on D. He's capable of making a difference on that end. Pass to Powell. Here's Leonard. McCullum defends. And it's Leonard. That time on the assist from Powell. And now a three-point clipper lead. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. New Orleans calls timeout. Without question, Kawhi Leonard displaying his skills today. They know they need to change things up and do it quickly. They cannot allow him to keep running wild. Passes to McCollum. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. McCollum's got eight points in the quarter. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. It's the fourth quarter, and it's a close game. You want to get the ball to someone you can rely on. Hartenstein to the post. Working on Nance. Williamson outside. Ingram. That one's in. Coming off a nice dish from Williamson. Williamson's got assist number five here tonight. George against Williamson. And here's George. Pass to Kennard. Just five on the clock. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Pelicans. Hayes is checked in for the Pelicans. New Orleans in the lead. McCullum outside. Williamson inside. George defending. Williamson misses. And Leonard, here we go. And the layup is good off the glass. Leonard's got 17 now, just in the second half. New Orleans has gotten just one of their four threes to go here in the fourth quarter. To the inside. Here's Williamson. Drops in the layup for two. And the Pelicans lead by one. Big one. Coach feels comfortable going to Zion when it matters. Pass to Kennard. Back to Leonard. 
And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. So the first one drops, and that ties this game up. good on both free throws and that gives him a lead no doubt about those free throws this is why you put the ball in his hands Kennard against McCullum to the paint Williamson passes to Valanchunas shot clock at six here's McCullum Hartenstein pulls it in and for Los Angeles, they're shooting at a 48% clip from the floor. And it's Powell off the drive. Money! There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment. Incredible shot with everything on the line coming through for his team. Ingram against Powell. Money! Competitive, confident Zion taking over. And I think we'll see him milk the clock a bit. Yeah, seems like the heady move right now. Leonard on the take. Yes! Can't help but love the way Leonard plays the game. Stone-faced assassin. Crucial possession right here. The crowd is on edge. New Orleans calls timeout. They trail by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's McCullum. Six second difference between the shot clock and game clock. The Clippers grab the miss. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. the first one and that gives him a four point cushion the rare guy who can do everything at both ends Paul George gives you a chance to win every night and he hits both free throws here and it's a five point game tremendous showing of confidence by getting those two to fall first clean look they have I mean they've got to take it and even if they make it they need an immediate foul no matter who catches the ball outside for Ingram from deep three point range and no good so it's the Clippers picking up the win. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for them. They had to dig deep to come out on top. Yeah, you know, some teams might buckle under the pressure towards the end. The crowd was so amped up, such a hostile environment. But they stood tall and got the win. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Thanks a lot, B.A. Well, Kawhi, you had it going inside and out. It seemed like you were getting wherever you wanted on the court. Did it feel that way? Uh, I was moving well. Um, you know, overall, the team played well. Um, they got me in my spots. They made shots open the floor for me. Always humble. Back to you guys. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. And that about wraps it up. For Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Steve Smith, this is Brian Anderson with our 2K Sports crew signing off. And we'll see you next time.